Hey, hey, mic check, one, two. Mic check. What's going on, everybody? Just trying to make sure everything's working on my end. Hey, hey, mic check, one, two. Mic check. Mic's working. Okay. Awesome. So, what's up, everybody? Um, I don't usually live stream on here that much, but I thought it'd be cool to uh, kind of show everyone sort of the backbone of how uh, I create music and, and sort of what's allowed me to uh, learn the guitar at such a, uh, what I would consider a rapid pace. And I remember uh, growing up, I, I uh, when I was learning the guitar, uh, one of the things I noticed was that I, I had this, I had the ability to uh, sort of just hear the music and and uh, figure out where the notes and the chords are on the guitar, on the, on the fretboard. Uh, so I thought it'd be cool to kind of walk you guys through uh, a bit of uh, ear training today. So um, I found this website, uh, Tone Toned Ear or Tone Deer. I uh, actually don't. Oh, it's Tone Deer. Yeah, it says right here, Toned Ear. It's definitely not Tone Deer, which, uh, you know, either way. Um, I thought it'd be cool to go through some uh, ear training exercises for you guys. Um, you know, if you're a musician or not, it's kind of cool to like uh, try and see if you can figure out uh, which notes are being heard or which chords are being played, uh, intervals, scales. Um, so I'll just say before I start that um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say that I have 100% perfect pitch. Uh, I would say what I have is really, really good uh, relative pitch. So the way I figure out uh, where notes are when I hear them or chords, um, uh, things like that, is I when I listen to a song or something, I'm listening to it as I would imagine how it's play, being played on a guitar. So, um, you know, I first I, you have to know what the what the strings on the guitar, what those notes are, you know, starting from the sixth string, it's going to be E, then A, then D, G, B, E, all the way up to the first string. Uh, and once you learn that, then, you know, you can progress into different scales. Um, you can progress into, uh, you know, major scales, minor scales. Um, harmonic minor scales and uh, things like that. But, uh, you know, as I was learning to play the guitar, uh, I started to memorize a lot of these scales and uh, try started to figure out, you know, where the notes were on the fretboard and how they came into play in relation to what I would hear. Um, and ultimately that had helped me uh, in my uh, in my journey to learning how to play the, gu the guitar. So uh, let's uh, let's get started. Like I said, I don't have a hundred percent perfect pitch. I thought it'd be kind of cool uh, to see how how much I can get right and see where I can improve. And to those of you listening and to those of you watching, um, you know, maybe uh, when I'm finished doing uh, some intervals and chords, it'd be kind of cool to uh, you know if you guys are are listening and and you know if you guys want to try and do it for yourself. Um, you know, you can write down the notes that you hear in the in the live chat or something. So let's get started. Um, I'll start with. Let's just start with where is it? Uh, let's just do perfect pitch. So this one right here. In this exercise, you will hear a single note. Your goal is to identify the name of the note. Let's do that. So let's start simple. We're just going to do. C, the note C, D, and E. In this exercise, you will hear a single note. Your goal is to identify the name of the note. For best results, practice a little bit every day. And I couldn't agree more with that. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we'll start simple. Just the three notes, uh, questions, leave zero as a never ending quiz. Um, let's, do, let's do 10 questions just to start. Advanced options. Automatically proceed to the next interval after identifying. Um, yeah, we can do that. Select answers with keyboard. No, nah, let's not do that. Okay, let's uh, let's start the quiz and see uh, how well we do. So perfect pitch quiz. Uh, first question. So we're just going to hear uh, one of three notes. We're going to hear C, D, or E. And let's begin. So the first one out will be... That sounds like a D. Yep. That sounds like a C. Sounds like another D. C. D. Okay, it's 
C, D, C, D, C, D. If it's just going to keep doing that, that's E, D, D again, except an octave lower. C, C again. Okay, so that was pretty easy. I'll admit that was pretty easy. Um, those are like probably the three notes that I, I'd be able to tell you within a second or two once I hear them that those are the, the notes that I'm hearing. Um, I would say it'll probably get a bit more complicated as I get into the, you know, non-standard notes, like say like C sharp, anything sharp or flat, I'll probably have a bit more uh, trouble identifying, but let's, uh, let's do that again. So let's increase the questions to 20 and let's go for, let's do a little bit of an advanced or no, let's do the C scale. Let's do Let's no, 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 no. Let's do, let's do advanced. That's uh that's two extra notes. So we won't go to, we'll go to the C scale after that. And then after that is going to be the entire uh, chromatic scale. So that's going to be the most difficult. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the advanced uh, notes, C, D, E, F, G. And we're going to do 20 questions. So let's see if I can uh, answer all of them. Let's go. All right, here are the first. So C, D, E, F, and G. That sounds like D. C, that is G, F, C, D, E, E again, D, C, uh, F. I believe that's F. Oh, okay. So apparently what it just did is it added another note. It added the note A. So it's going to get a little bit more difficult. Uh, like I said, so far it's easy because we're not dealing with sharps and flats right now. We're not dealing with uh, accidentals. So uh, let's uh, let's begin again. We're going to do six notes, A, C, D, E, F, G. They're, good. They're just going to keep playing, and uh, I'm going to see if I can answer them all. So far I've got 100%. Let's, uh, let's see if I can get one wrong. That's F, E, D, C, A, E, C, A. That's G, A. Okay, so looks like I got all of them correct. Cool. All right. Guess I need to up the ante a little bit. Let's uh, let's go to advanced. Let's do the entire C scale. So that's going to be seven notes. Um, so yeah, all the notes, no sharps or flats. Uh, Twenty questions, and then let's uh, let's start it. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Here we go. That is D. G. C, A, A again, E, G, F, D, E. Okay, it's uh, it's adding an uh, accidental, so we're gonna have eight notes to choose from. It's getting a little bit more difficult. Uh, we're gonna have an A sharp slash B flat in there, so. As the difficulty increases, it's only going to get, you know, there's going to be more sharps and flats. So I, that's probably what's going to throw me off. So let's uh, let's see if we can uh, we can do that. So here we go. Here again. OK, wait. Perfect pitch quiz. Oh, OK. It's already started. D. D again. C. Uh, B. Uh, that is G. That would be F. A sharp and B flat. C. C. Uh, F. Okay, I guess that wasn't as hard as I thought. Um, but as you can see, like I, I can't immediately. Mm, go to the note when I hear it. I, I kind of have to think about it a bit. I'm like, okay, relative to what note am I hearing? Um, so let's let's do that again. This time we're going to do, okay, this is the chromatic scale. So this is 12 notes. This is the entire uh, musical scale. So we're going to keep it at 20 questions. Um, and let's see if I can do this. I have a feeling 
I'm I'm gonna miss some if I'm if I'm quick to uh to click on a note or you know if I don't think about it then I'll I'll probably miss a few. But let's uh let's see. I don't know if, if people who have perfect pitch can, you know, automatically click, you know, find the note and click it, or if they actually have to think about it relative to another note. But like I said, it's it's more like a, a, a strong relative pitch as opposed to a uh, perfect pitch. But let's uh let's do it. Okay. 20 questions, all 12. Yeah, 12 notes. <laughs> uh, all 12 notes, all accidentals. Um, let's do it. Uh, D. Uh, B. That would be F sharp. D. Uh, A sharp or B flat. That would be F. D. B. C. E. That would be B. I think, yeah. Here again, B. Uh -huh. C. D. A sharp. D. C again. Uh, D. That is... Whoa, what is that? F sharp? Yeah. See, I had to think about that. I was like, wait, what is that? That would be B. A sharp? Oh. Uh, G sharp or A flat. That's what it is. Damn it. I was so close. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. That's all right. Uh, well, I missed one out of the entire quiz. So I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah. So that's basically to give you guys a bit of an explanation again, that's, you know, I, I, uh, it's, it's more of a relative pitch for me as opposed to like a perfect pitch. Um, I, I relate everything to the fretboard on a guitar and standard tuning, uh, because that's what I grew up learning. And again, that's how I was able to learn all the notes on the fretboard, all the scales, all the chords and the basic chords, and then on to the more complicated chords. Um, so yeah, so that's uh that's ear training. If you guys want to check this website out, I get I just found it. I googled ear training and it came up. It's just tonedear.com. If you guys want to try it out for yourself, uh it's pretty cool. It's it gets pretty challenging, but it's fun. It's fun to, you know, have this sort of uh sort of a skill set. Um because uh not a lot of people can uh hear notes and really figure out what they're what they're hearing or playing or what's being played and it, it's kind of cool to share that with your friends. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I just wanted to do this quick video on uh, ear training and how um, how I learned how to train my ear to hear uh, how to play certain songs and certain notes and chords, intervals, things like that. Um, I'm going to do another video on this uh, ear training. So this one was uh, very, uh, very basic. I just wanted to do the single note perfect pitch uh, section and hear single notes and tell you which notes they were. They have other sections as well. In fact, let's go Let's go to the home page. They have intervals, chords, scales, uh, chord progressions. We did perfect pitch, uh, scale degrees, uh, intervals in context, and melodic dictation. And I can already tell you this is going to be a challenge for me. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll dive right into that into the, uh, in the next video. So uh, yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I just wanted to do this quick video and show you uh, how to do ear training. So, all right. I will see you in the next video. Take care.